Welcome to the lesson on Introduction to Classification of Elements. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to Explain Dober Rayner's theory of triads and its drawbacks. Describe Newland's law of octaves. Explain Mendeleev's periodic table. Explain the limitations of Mendeleev's classification of elements. Many scientists made several attempts to classify elements according to their properties. In 1817, Johann Doberaner identified that there were certain groups of three similar elements called triads. The elements of a triad had similar properties and when arranged in order of increasing atomic masses, the atomic mass of the middle element was roughly the arithmetic mean of the other two. Lithium, sodium and potassium formed a triad. The atomic mass of sodium is equal to the average of the atomic mass of lithium and potassium. In the triad, calcium, strontium and barium, the atomic weight of the middle element strontium is very close to the average of the atomic weights of barium and calcium. The elements chlorine, bromine and iodine formed another triad. However, Doberreiner could identify only three triads from elements and hence this system was not found to be useful. In 1866, John Newlands formed that if the elements were arranged in the order of increasing atomic masses, every eighth element had similar properties to that of the first. He compared this to the octaves found in music. Newland's law was therefore named Law of Octaves. In the Indian system of music, there are seven musical notes in a scale. Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, Ni. In the West, they use the notations Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti. This is how arrangement of Newland's octaves looked. The properties of lithium and sodium were found to be the same. Sodium is the eighth element after lithium. Similarly, beryllium and magnesium resemble each other. There were drawbacks with this octave series. It was applicable only up to calcium. When new elements were discovered after this series, their properties did not fit into the law of octaves. In order to fit elements into this table, Newlands adjusted two elements in the same slot, but also put some unlike elements under the same note. Cobalt and nickel are in the same slot, and these are placed in the same column as fluorine. Iron, which resembles cobalt and nickel in properties, has been placed far away from these elements. Thus, Newland's law of octaves worked well with lighter elements only. Mendeleev was the main contributor to the early development of periodic table, in which the elements were arranged on the basis of their fundamental properties, atomic mass and on similarity of chemical property. Mendeleev worked on 63 elements on the basis of their chemical properties. He found out the compounds formed from 63 elements upon reaction with hydrogen and oxygen. He studied the properties of the compounds formed and grouped those with similar properties in order of their increasing atomic masses. He observed that most of the elements got a place in the periodic table. It was observed that there occurs a periodic recurrence of elements with similar physical and chemical properties. Mendeleev's periodic law states that the properties of elements are the periodic functions of their atomic masses. Mendeleev's periodic table contains vertical columns called groups and horizontal rows called periods. For elements to group together, Mendeleev had to place an element with slightly greater atomic mass before an element with slightly lower atomic mass. For example, Cobalt having higher atomic mass than nickel was placed before nickel. 
the sequence was inverted so that elements with similar properties could be grouped together. Further, Mendeleev left some gaps in his periodic table. He boldly predicted the existence of some elements that had not been discovered at that time. He named them by prefixing a Sanskrit numeral, EKA, Eka, meaning one to the name of preceding element in the same group. For example, Scandium, Gallium and Germanium discovered later have properties similar to EKA Boron, EKA Aluminium and EKA Silicon respectively. The properties of EKA Aluminium predicted by Mendeleev matches with Gallium. One of the strengths of Mendeleev's periodic table was that when these gases were discovered, they could be placed in a new group without disturbing the existing order. Hydrogen resembles alkali metals due to resemblance in electronic configuration, but no fixed position can be given to hydrogen in the periodic table. Isotopes posed a challenge to Mendeleev's table as they have similar chemical properties but different atomic masses. The third problem was that the atomic masses do not increase in regular manner and therefore it was not possible to predict how many elements could be discovered between the two elements. At the end of this lesson, we are able to explain Doberrainer's theory of triads and its drawbacks, describe Newland's law of octaves, explain Mendeleev's periodic table, explain the limitations of Mendeleev's classification of elements.